ChatGPT have just made a really great update to the platform for paid users or team users. And it's called Canvas. So you can see at the top left here, you can select the model. It's in beta at the moment. Uh, ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas collaborate on writing and code. And it works very, very similar to this, which is Anthropic's Claude. You might remember they released artifacts a few months back now where you kind of work on the left and then what uh, you are creating appears on the right. So ChatGPT have kind of caught up in that department, although to give them their dues, of course, in the last couple of weeks, they've also released Advanced Voice, which uh, you can see some other videos about that I've done. But this is really good. And one of the things that it's best at is creating content, uh, like particular, say, a blog article. So all we need to do is just start as normal by adding a prompt in down here. And I'll show you how you can craft a fantastic blog post using ChatGPT now, probably better than you've ever been able to do before. So first of all, then, can you create me a 1000 word article on how businesses can use artificial intelligence to save money and also increase sales? There we go. So there's our initial prompt and you can see it's put it into this window. It's just opened it straight on up into this two piece now. The main content being here, blasted out by 4.0. And then on the left hand side, we're now working with ChatGPT as a kind of collaborator to make this blog post the way that we want it and the very, very best. So it obviously uh, takes a few seconds to just write the article, but still, a, you know, pure miracle level. Let's be honest. A couple of years ago, we would have been, uh, you know, blown away by this. But now we're, we're getting used to it, aren't we? But here you go. So there it says on the left. Um, I hope this article meets your needs, Jason. If you have any suggestions for tweaks, uh, specific examples you'd like added or you want a different tone, feel free to let me know. So what we have here now is some cool options. We can carry on talking to it and just saying, I've had a read of it. I'm not so keen on this bit. Or can you make it sound more fun? Uh, or we can change the tone, for example. So I'm just going to say, can you change the writing style to a journalistic style. There we go. So it'll get on and do that now. And you can see it's just buzzing through it and just switching around the words and making it sound more uh, journalistic, exactly the way that I wanted. Fantastic. Doesn't take very long to do that. And you can really just get this blog post just the way that you want. It's finished now. I've updated the article to reflect a more journalistic writing style with a direct and informative tone. So that's great. Now, just down here, we've got some new features, which again, really make this whole process uh, a lot simpler. So at the top, we can add emojis if we want to, to the uh, blog post. Now, when I tried this, I have to say it turned like practically the entire thing uh, into emojis. It like took every other flipping word and then made it into an emoji. There you go, look at it. It's gone absolutely whack with emojis. Probably only wanted a couple in there. And this is probably too many emojis for a social media post. But it doesn't matter because anything that you do to the blog post can be reversed. So if you're not happy with this, all you do is you go up the top left here and you can just click previous version and it will undo all of that craziness. There you go. You can see down the bottom now, restore this version. So hopefully that will just, um, oh, I've probably got to do it one more time. No, there we go. Done. So that's one thing that you can do. You can add emojis and you can undo and redo things. Then the next thing down here is add the final polish. So when you're kind of happy, yep, I think this blog post is just right. What you can do is just give it that little uh, final polish where it'll go through, check grammar again. Not quite sure it would need to check grammar on itself, but there you go. That is kind of, uh, you know, what it does anyway, isn't it? Right, perfectly. But it says, you know, just polish it up and make sure it sounds good. Thing it also... Uh, make sure that the words flow nicely and it's easy to read to. And speaking of that, reading level, check this out. You can go up high school, uh, college, and then graduate school. And that's as high as you can go. But also you can go down as well. So you can go down to middle school level and then right down here to kindergarten level. 
So it's got some adjustment in the kind of complexity of how it reads as well, which I think is really useful. And then just here we have the other important thing, if you wanna make it longer or shorter. So I'm gonna say I want to make it a bit longer. You got longer, 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 longest. So let's go straight up for longest and let it do its thing. Um, and it's just editing that now. You can see down the bottom left what it's doing. So I think you could really use this now as a fantastic collaborative writing tool. I mean, it's kind of, it's moved on from those early days of AI writers, hasn't it? You know, like Jasper and all of those things. Um, I mean, I'm sure they're still viable products because you've got a nice interface around them and it can do all sorts of things. But, you know, ultimately with ChatGPT here, you have got a fantastic writing software for $20 a month. So um, really, really good. And this is the, the uh, initial beta version of this canvas. It's going to get better, I'm sure, um, as people start using it and as the AI gets better and better at understanding you and your writing style and everything, then uh, I think it'll be fantastic. There you go. Look at that. Wrapping up. So there's its conclusion. Now, another thing that you can do is you can highlight a particular paragraph and then you can bold it. So you can do some kind of um, formatting here as well. Uh, you know, look at that. There you go. Bit of um, slanty text. Let's get rid of that. Italics. And then we get rid of that as bold. And we can also ask ChatGPT as well. So if I want that changed, I'll say something like, can you simplify this paragraph? There you go. And then it will go through and start to optimize it. There you go. It's just doing it now changing it up, rewriting it. And now if you're happy with that, there you go, it's done. So you can do that for any particular one of these paragraphs here. You'll see just in the top right, you get this little symbol where you just click edit or explain, and then that's it done. And once I'm finished with that, like I say, we can just click add final polish, and then we've got ourselves, you know, one fantastic blog post here written fully by AI with us just adjusting it as required to make it perfect for our needs. And it doesn't take very long at all, does it? I mean, I don't know how long we are in a video now, but it's got to be like five, six minutes. And we've got ourselves a really, really good article here. Look how long it is. I don't know how many words it is, but I would imagine it is getting on for that thousand um, quite easily there. And then you can go ahead and add things like, uh, I always like to put an FAQ at the bottom of my blog post. So you can say um, to add an FAQ as well to the bottom of the article. The other cool thing that you can do is once you've finished with it, just at the top right here, you can see that you can copy. So you can just copy all of that and then go and paste it to to anything that you want, like your WordPress blog or so on. But you can also just ask it to give it you in the form of a PDF or whatever you want. So can you give me this blog post in the PDF format, please, so I can download it? And there you are. And also Word doc, anything like that that you want. So then the AI will just start thinking about it. And then in just a couple of seconds, we'll get our download link. And there we are, download AI business savings PDF. And then we can just download it. Let's take a look, let's open it up, make sure it looks good. There we are, look at that, absolutely perfect, ready to go. So, fantastic tool, um, really, really like it. Now, the other thing that you can do with this, of course, is images. So we can also ask it to create images and then use the editing tool. I'm gonna to show you that right now. So, can you create an image of a Hungarian Vizsla sitting in a field with birds flying in the sky. There we are. So this is using Dali, of course. Not the best image uh, creator out there at the moment. You know, there's some other ones for like Flux and so on. Uh, Mid Journey, of course, that are brilliant. They've got a certain style about them, these images, but that's pretty good. And if we click on it now, we've got um, the same kind of format as we did with the blog post. We're able to start now editing the image by talking about it down here. So we can do that. So we can say, I, I want the dog. All right, let's just do it. I would like... I would like to have the dog looking in the other direction. Let's see if it will adjust it. I didn't actually specify which direction, did I? So, 
But this is how you would do it. You can just keep reiterating and chatting with it. And then I'm going to show you another really good feature. I wouldn't exactly say that it's, well, it is looking a tiny bit different, isn't it? But hardly at all. So if you're not happy with it, let them know. I always put that and then just put, I just put didn't follow instructions. Even, you know, has moved it a little bit, but not that much. But just look up here. And now you can just go and select. So let's say we want to select this particular bird here. And then we'll just get rid of it like that. Uh, that little bit there, there we go. And I can just put down the bottom right here, remove bird. And there we are. Hopefully we'll get our new version minus the bird. And we can download the image once we're happy. And I think this whole way of working now um, with Canvas is so much more intuitive than it all just being in that one long conversation. It's really annoying. Now, while, while you're, we're waiting for that image, by the way, if you're into ChatGPT and you really want to learn more about AI in general, you've got to come join my free group, which, as you can see, is buzzing. We've got 12 people waiting to come in right now. There's 11.2 thousand members. And all we do is obsess over ChatGPT, AI and uh image generation really as well you know with mid journey and things like that so it's a great community to be in it doesn't cost you a penny and the link is underneath this video so going back to chat gpt there we are we have now got our image as promised without that big bird there uh which was previously on the picture so it's worked really really well there it is you can see it at the top right so i'm i'm quite a big fan of this we can download our image just there save it and we're good. So this new Canvas feature, as I say, is it, it is for people who are on the Plus account and it's in beta. I don't know if everybody's got it yet either. So if you go up to the top left here um, and you don't see it there, then don't panic. I'm sure it will roll out very, very soon. But I hope you found that useful and I hope you enjoy it. I'll put a link to this page as well underneath, which will go over it. Because the other the good thing that it can do is it will it's really good for coding. So that you can be coding on the left, it's showing you what's going on in the right, and then you can make adjustments to it as well, just like we did with the blog post article. I'm not a coder, so I didn't try to pretend to be in this video, but I think you'll find it super useful for that. And you can see um, on this page here, the various use cases for it. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.